Who is an air traffic controller? An air traffic controller is responsible for directing aircrafts on the ground and through controlled airspace. They provide advisory services to aircrafts in non-controlled airspaces. The primary responsibility of an air traffic controller is to communicate with the pilots and the ground staff to manage a flight to ensure the safety of a flight on the ground such as clearance delivery before an aircraft taxi and in the air as well. Pilots get the ground position and get the clearance from ATC to land or to take off. The intercommunication is carried out from the controlling tower where they can see the aircrafts and the ground space. Radar and radio signals are used to communicate with the pilots and the tower back and forth. An air traffic controller could even be responsible for a crash based on the legal theory of negligence. What are the qualifications required to become an air traffic controller in Sri Lanka? To work as an air traffic controller, you require a bachelor's degree of three years in a science subject with physics and mathematics from a recognized university and is expected to pass the ATC examinations. They are highly trained to deal with stressful situations such as high levels of traffic, bad weather or emergencies. Every country has their own air traffic controlling tower to manage and guide aircrafts traveling through their airspace. How so much stand by? MRS 348, Vakate Runway, where taxi bay Delta, stand Alpha 7. Shumakan 139, taxi by taxi by Alpha to holding point runway 22. Shumakan 139, give way to Emirates point triple seven, taxiing on parallel taxi by left to right. Shumakan 115, after departure, contact Kalama director 132 decimal 4, runway 22, plate for takeoff, wind 260 degrees 10 knots. Goodbye. Goodbye. The main objective of an air traffic controller is to prevent collisions between aircraft in air and also between aircraft on ground and any other vehicles objectives on the maneuvering area or simply say runways, taxiways or any apron area. And also we, we do everything we can, we provide any information in our power to aircrafts to make sure that they fly safe and also we maintain a flow of uh, expedite and maintain and flow of air traffic. Again, if an aircraft is in search of a, in need of a search and rescue uh, aid or if there is a crash and they need assistance from other agencies, then we notify such agencies and provide assistance to such agencies to go quickly to that position and uh, complete the search and rescue mission. That's the generally what air traffic controllers do. And uh, if I talk about the aerodrome control tower, when an aircraft get uh, ready for a startup, to start the engines for their departure, they can contact a ground position here at control tower and get the clearance. Then they request startup from controller position here and uh, taxi line up and we give the departure clearance. Throughout that procedure, we make sure that aircraft is safe, will not have any collisions with another vehicles or any other aircraft. Then we uh, control all the air traffic within uh, 4,000 4, feet uh, vertical, uh, within an airspace of 4,000 feet vertical limit and 10 nautical miles of lateral limit. After that, we'll hand over our traffic or our aircraft to the Colombo Approach Radar Center for further climb and uh, further instructions.